Welcome everyone, my name is Rona Minci and today I will be discussing the definition, concept and relevance of blended learning to education for sustainability. To start, a key motivator in the UN Sustainable Development Goal 4 on ensuring quality education for all. In the digital age, we live in technologies have become essential in education. And for that, teacher training and development of their digital competencies is absolutely critical. The European Commission has made several important recommendations to ensure quality digital education. This includes promoting R&D of digital educational tools, ensuring digital competency training for teachers, and supporting blended learning approaches, especially in primary and secondary education. Blended learning holds great potential to enhance quality and inclusivity. There has already been substantial doctoral research into blended learning covering diverse aspects. This have looked at how blended learning impacts student engagement and performance. Many have focused on course design principles and assessment methodologies for branded environments. Domain-specific research exists in language learning, computer science, and math education. Blended learning is also being studied in vocational education and for training teachers themselves. In this presentation, I am to answer two key research questions, looking at it from a Ukrainian perspective. First, as Ukraine integrates with Europe, what is the most appropriate Ukrainian term we should standardize on for referring to blended learning. Second, how exactly should blended learning be defined and what does the concept entail? Let's dig in. In current Ukrainian parlance and literature, two terms are used interchangeably to refer to blended learning. Zmishene navchanya, which means uh, mixed learning, and kombinovane navchanya, which means combined learning. Both are in common use. However, official documents seem to favor the term Zmishen Navchanya, mixed learning. Let's look at this more closely. This map shows the preferred term for blended learning across the European language. The red markers indicate countries using mixed learning. Green is combined learning. Blue is blended learning retained directly. And yellow have their own unique terms. As you can see, there is a real mix, pun independent. Even more interesting, when we look at the verbs used in the actual definitions, most countries describe blended learning as a combination of different instructional models, shown in green. Red are those that refer to mixing and blue use both terms. The notion of meaningfully Combining different modalities seems most prevalent. Let's consult authoritative source. The Great Explanatory Dictionary of Modern Ukrainian defines combination as an orderly arrangement of homogeneous parts, where mixed refers to disorder and heterogeneity. The love of education also refers to the educational process as a system which is an order interconnection of components. This suggests that kombinovane navchanya, combined learning, is a more accurate translation that captures the systematic orderly combining of different learning models in blended learning. Which what terminological question out of the way? Let's turn to actually definition blended learning. At its simplest, blended learning refers to a combination of two or more components, typically online and face-to-face -face instruction, but also formal and informal learning activities, self-paced and collaborative works, and digital and non-digital technologies. The key is a deliberate combination. Scholars have proposed various definitions emphasizing different facets. Graham defines it simply as combining online and traditional classroom teaching. Harrison and Kanuha stress the integration aspect of face-to-face -face and online learning. Pichiano calls it 
third full fusion. The European Commission highlighting how technology enables learning in different environments. Here you see the famous spectrum of course delivery modalities proposed by Allen and his colleagues. It goes from fully face-to-face -face on the left to fully online on the right. Blended learning occupies the broad middle space involving a substantial proportion of both online and face-to-face -face elements. You can see how wide a range of courses can be considered blended. The concept of blended learning operates along several key dimensions. The space dimension involves a mix of physical classroom and virtual learning environments. Time-wise, there is a blend of synchronous activities done together in real time and asynchronous self-passed work. Stylically, it combines formal instruction with informal peer interactions. Pedagogically, it balances teacher lecturers with self-directed discovery. And technologically, it leverages both digital tools and analog methods. So, it's quite a rich multidimensional construct. Adopting blended learning has both benefits and challenges. On the plus side, it provides greater flexibility and convenience for learners. The variety of modalities can increase engagement. Having to navigate online environments builds self-regulation. Working in multiply modes also enhances peer collaboration. And the range of optional allows for more personalized learning. However, there are challenges to technology access issue, having to redesign curriculum for a blended format, managing students in two environments, need for teacher training and lack of institutional support. A key enabler for blended learning is, of course, technology. Learning management systems like Moodle and Canvas form the backbone. Web conferencing tools like Zoom and Teams allow for synchronous virtual sessions. Collaborative suites like Google Apps support group work. Multimedia resources like educational videos and simulation supplement instruction. And mobile apps and podcasts allow learning on the go. The technology provides the versatility need for blended learning. Cutting-edge intelligent technology are now enhancing blended learning in powerful ways. Learning analytics and AI can personalize learning paths and activities based on individual needs. Intelligent tutoring systems provide adaptive guidance and feedback. Natural language processing can facilitate discussion, moderation and Q&A. Augmented and virtual reality enable immersive learning experiences. The AI driven tools and sharing in a new phase of technology enhanced learning. So, how is blended learning relevant for education for sustainable development or ESD? UNESCO has outlined the eight key sustainability competencies that ESD should foster. This includes system thinking, anticipation, normative and strategic competencies, collaboration, critical thinking, self-awareness, and integrated problem solving. Blended learning can help develop many of these. The online components in blended learning are great for fostering system thinking and anticipatory competencies. Learning can interact with complex models and databases to understand system dynamics. Online simulation and scenario building tools let them explore alternative future to hone strategic and normative thinking. Collaborative online projects are ideal for developing teamwork and communication skills. Asynchronous discussion allow more time for critical reflection and discourse. Self-passed elements support metacognitive skills like self-awareness and self-regulation, and real-world projects integrated into a blended curriculum provide opportunities to develop integrated problem-solving abilities. Taking all this together, I propose this model for designing blended learning programs for educational for sustainable development. The face-to-face -face components focus on motivation learning, building foundation, and hands-on skills. The online synchronous session allow for interactive discussion, expert talk, and virtual tours. Asynchronous online work enable research, reflection, and project work. 
an in situ field project on internship integrated classroom and real work, world learning. Wrapping around all this are the cross cutting elements, the poster case sustainability competencies through the blend. This provides a template for designing effective blended programs for ESD. To conclude, I recommend that Kombinovan and Avchania combined learning be adopted as a standard Ukrainian term for referring to blended learning, as it best captures the essence of the concept. Blended learning is defined as a systematic combination of face-to-face -face and online instruction using digital tools to enable flexible learning across multiple environments. It can powerfully support education for sustainability development by fostering several case sustainability competencies in learning. I will design a blended model that balances face-to-face, synchronous and asynchronous online learning and real-world application offer an effective template for ESD program. Thank you for your attention.